Well, hello friends. Again, it's been a long time since the last time I made a video because basically I'm working on a video that it's it's been very difficult to make because it's about a comparison of the uh, Rolex Explorer with uh, other watches, including the, the, the Ranger. So that video, it's going to be a two-part video. The first one will be about um, as an exploring watch and the second will be as a watch by itself. Meanwhile, I have gotten this that is going to be used for an, another video that I want to make. And it's going to be a little bit, you know, weird and strange, as many of you know of me. Uh, but well, I'm going to unbox it. So this is just an unboxing of, of the watch. If I am able to open and OK, as you can see, here is the box. Here is the box and not much of a surprise box. Uh, I actually I didn't know how it was going to be like, but well, here it is. This is the box of the watch. As you can see, this is probably you have guessed. It comes from AliExpress. I never really wanted to try this watch for a long time. And the excuse is going to be the review I'm going to make. So I'm familiar with this type of boxes, but one thing I know is that they are quite difficult to open. Actually, I thought I knew how to open them. OK, now here it goes. I kind of like these boxes because they are practical to travel. And let's see, here we have it. OK. You know, that is the reason I'm wearing the Explorer, because I think it really fits. Well, first, this is the warranty, not signed or anything like that. This is the instruction manual, nothing to read here. A small tool that I'm probably not going to use. I already have one for kind of this purpose. But I like to have this type of box. So the watch is quite heavy. We'll see how much heavier it is or what's the weight exactly comparing with the Explorer. And here we have it, everything wrapped. The first thing is, I think it looks very good, very well. It has female end links. The, the anti-reflecting coating is blue. Actually, I was considering this and another watch. I cannot remember the name right now. There was another of the same type. And the thing with the other brand was that the, the bezel, I think it was thicker. And this one kind of looks more similar to the, to the Explorer. I'm going to make a comparison or I will try to raise a point with this watch the Trust Casameteer and the Explorer. But I don't want to advance too much about it. So here is the watch, everything wrapped in plastic. I have one big doubt and it is if it's going to fit me because in the in the advertisement it said that it was for maximum 18 centimeter wrist and I have 18.5 something like that. I contacted uh, the shop and they told me that they didn't have extra links. Well, before I unwrapped anything, I'm going to first put it on, remove the Explorer. Now this is going to fit, no problem. Actually it works. I will have to remove links, so no problem with that, no concern there. It looks. Very nice. I think this is, every time I see a picture of this watch, it really catches my eye because it's, you know, a um, design copy of the 1016. That's going to be the point around the review. Well, I will have to 
I'm going to try to remove the plastic. Okay, now finally. Uh, sorry, it took so long. Here it is, the watch. I don't know if it's focusing all right. I think the dial is very good. Very similar to, I haven't ever had a 1016 in my possession, so I cannot really tell, but I think it, it looks quite, quite all right. So here's on the wrist, well, let's put it this way. Here it's on the wrist and I will adjust it and we'll keep on working on the video. I, I am, I'm already working and then we'll make another one with this watch, the Explorer and the Summit here. Thank you very much and thanks for your patience. I'll be back. Bye bye.